What do you think about foreign men coming to Colombia to find love? Okay, honestly, I think it's kind of... What's good, people? It's your boy, Lord Williamson. First things first, don't be a hater, man. Go down there and hit that like button, man. I really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. I promise you won't regret it. We have new content every week. I've been seeing a lot of you guys asking questions about Medellin or just commenting on my Medellin vlogs and saying you want more. In this video, we're going to be talking about everything Medellin, from where to stay, what to do, nightlife, safety, and the cost of living, man. And you know I'm about to give it to you raw. Hey, yo! First up, we got where to stay. Let's go. So right now we are in Los Molinos Mall, and I absolutely love this place. Uh, Los Molinos is located in Baylin. It's more of a chill mall, but it has everything you need, from food to the gym to the grocery store. They have literally everything. The big chain that if you've ever been to Columbia, you know it's called Smart Fit. Smart Fit is just like LA Fitness. They have multiple locations across the city. Uh, and it's super cheap, man. I've never had to take an Uber to get somewhere in Berlin. They literally have laundry mats, uh, salons, everything for cheap, man. If you want to be in walking distance of all the clubs, you're going to want to stay in Provenza, Poblao, or Parque Eres. Now, if you want to live in a neighborhood where you're still close to the nightlife, but you get a better price point, you're going to want to live in Envigal, Santa Fe, or Lorellas. Now, if you want to take full advantage of the price points and you don't mind living 20 minutes away from the nightlife, you're going to want to stay in places like Itagui or Baylin. And all right, so next up, we got the nightlife. And it's pretty simple. If you want to meet a nice girl with a nine to five, you want to go to places like Provenza or Pablo. You know what? I think I'll two more for y'all. Ass up. It ain't even wet over here. Now, if you want to just kick it, chill, and get cheap drinks, I highly suggest you go to La Sententa, which stands for the 70. That being said, if you want to go to Passport Bro Heaven or where the gringos go to pay girls rent, definitely go to Parque Edis. Yeah. I just need my space right now. Yeah. That's not your life first. 
Sunday, tell her to take one, pass it down. down. Lean on me, I'm trouble on beats, I act up class clowns. Down. Walk down, walk down, walk down, walk down with your mask off. Uh. Flat out the dollar for 24 hours, I'm headed back north. Down. He rolling up trees, I'm on the bean wall. I been rollin', rollin', bitch, I'm on that Lil Ross If you don't sip tequila, I can't trust you, who is y'all? He deliver weed like Uber Eats, can't wait to blow it down So those are the three main nightlife areas I definitely wouldn't suggest you going to Park Aedis looking for a wife Funny enough, I was in Bogota Airport and I met this girl who spoke fluent English And she was born and raised in Colombia And so I had to pick her brain I wanted to know what she thought about the whole passport bro movement Or people in general just moving to Colombia What do you think about foreign men coming to Colombia to find love. Okay, honestly, I think it's kind of weird because if you travel, if you come here and you find a love, it's okay, it's something that happened. But if you come specifically for that, that's weird because it's because you are going to fall in love for the person and not something like an stereotypic and sometimes they just sexualize Colombian or Latin women. So I think it's like a red flag. Mm. So whenever you see a foreign person like myself and I say, yeah, I've been here for three months, what do you think? If you say, oh, I've been here for three months because I'm trying to find a wife, uh, ah. you got it. The cost of living here is so much better than the States. For example, you get the best quality food for the cheapest price ever. Check it out. Right now I'm about to go get my food and I'm going to show y'all just how cheap the food is here. Once you escape, pop blah. Every day I come here, I get like two meals. So we just got the food. This meal right here cost me about $3. All right, man, so I just got back, man. Got some chicken, plantain, rice, frioles, a little bit of lettuce, and some pescado soup. All that stuff came for like a little bit under $3. You gotta love it, man. I go there twice a day. Right now, I'm about to show y'all my apartment and how much accommodation can go for around here. Okay? Only thing I don't like about this accommodation is it looks like I'm in a cabin in the woods, God damn it. Toy Story house has me. So now I'm moving to my next apartment. Right here. Okay, okay. Good, clean area. I don't need too much space. I'm not here long. Has an AC unit. Nice little TV, man. You got your bathroom. Good bed, you know what I'm saying? God damn. Harder than a mother. I may put the link in the bio, who knows, but y'all can always book a consultation. I have plenty of these places where you can stay. It was about $21 a night. I book week by week, but if you were to book this for a month, it would probably be about $650 to $700. The Wi Fi is fast, I'm in a safe area, and it's super, super clean, man. So you can't beat that, man. Well, I know what you're thinking. Why is Lord dressed like he just got baptized? That's not Jesus! I can live a luxurious lifestyle here, but it'll be 75% cheaper than living in the States. For example, if you've been watching my channel, I got a massage in Medellin, they came to my house, I made a video on it, and that video went viral on TikTok, it went viral on YouTube. I've kept a close relationship with Claudia, she owns a spa, and no, fellas, this is not one of those spa spas. You're just a dirty, horny sex man like all the others. Ever since that video went viral, she's always been in contact with me, like, let me know when you come back, I'm gonna give you a free massage, I'm just glad the fruits of the labor are paying off. Damn! Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Another good thing about Medellin is the healthcare is super affordable, man. I made a same day appointment to get my teeth clean and it was only $30. And my dentist was fine as hell. Now I know when people hear Medellin, they think of the women and the nightlife. But honestly, if you're into tours and adventures, you can go hang gliding, you can go check out Pablo Escobar's mansion, safe house, and his grave. Before we get into the tours and adventures, I wanna say definitely take the time to learn basic Spanish if you can. It helps so much with interactions with people if they see that you're trying. I was on my way to the downtown area and me and my Uber driver started talking and I found out he was a rapper and he gave me a free show. Check it out. El Yambra de Colombia Medellín, Colombia en la casa de Colombia PRD de Bopa al Mundo. Claro, gracias, mi. Here's to Instagram. 
Mi Instagram, el Yambra. Yambra. El Gracias Yambra. por todo, amigo. Claro. Dios le bendiga, bro. Señores, les voy a decir quién soy. Yo soy Pablo Emilio Escobar Gaviria. Cuando el enojo aumenta, el árbol se cortará, se cortará. El río fluye, nunca solo está, no solo está. can just chill out and go to famous neighborhoods like Comuna Tracer or take the cables all the way up the mountain. next point is super important man it's about the safety in Medellin I know you hear a lot of rumors on the internet and the media saying that Colombia is one of the most dangerous places in the world but honestly the US is way more dangerous if you ask me to me Colombia is dangerous when it comes to petty theft if you leave your phone on the ground it's out of there gotcha if you drop some money on the ground or leave your wallet it's gone Gotcha. A big tip is don't get super drunk anywhere you go, especially yet as part. Always remember, any place you stay at, try to get 24-hour security. Also, do some research on the neighborhood you're staying in when you're in Medellin. I was in Medellin for like a month, and my last week leaving, I went to go get a tattoo, and my house got broken into. Check it out. Man, man, man. These motherfuckers broke into the crib. Get Didn't even steal too much. Maybe, just maybe, they didn't take my laptop because I don't just leave my laptop out like that. I had that b under the bed, tucked under the bed. So, so I get down in that mother. I'm looking, I'm looking in that mother. Ain't none, none of that bitch. Gotcha. And, and to be honest, man, I can't blame whoever broke into my house. It was an easy lick, man. We were in an area we didn't need to be in called Barrio in Tokyo, which is known for its drug trade. That being said, from now on, I only get places that have 24-hour security or if I know that the neighborhood is super nice, family-oriented, and nothing goes on. For example, Baylin. Also, whenever you're walking around the streets, man, be mindful of where you're at and what you have in your hands, things like cell phones, wallets, anything in your pockets, man. Make sure you get a strap-on bag. One of my favorite places to go in Medellin is the downtown area, a.k.a. Central. I love this place because it really shows the real life hustle and bustle on a day-to-day -day basis on what goes on in Medellin. Check it out. When you look out here, what do you see? I don't know. I see opportunity. I see fucking opportunity, fellas. So right now we are in what I like to call the jungle, man. We are in El Centro. 
got the homies with us. Y'all definitely got to be on your P's and Q's when you come to a place like that because, I mean, anything can happen. And just like any other downtown area, you got to watch out for pickpocketers, scammers, and people who are just ready to take advantage of a tourist like you and me. All right, man, I feel like I pretty much covered all there is you need to know about Medellin. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments below. And I'm going back to Medellin in a few weeks, man, to stay for a couple months. If you need anything as far as suggestions, accommodations, massage places, anything like that, make sure you hit me up on Instagram. My Instagram is Laura Williamson, and I do consultations for the half hour, the whole hour. However many questions you got, I'm sure I can answer them. And if I can't, I got friends who can. Also, for all uncut, unfiltered, uncensored footage, y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my Patreon, man. You know what's going up. That being said, this is your boy, Laura Williamson. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe, and tell your mama's mama. I'm out. Peace. Turn me up, space. Turn me up.